so i have one in today's video i'm going to be demonstrating to us how to create an iot hub and later on we shall be streaming real-time data into the iot hub stay tuned and this knowledge is applicable for any hobbyist out there a student or even anyone who just wants to explore azure services preliminarily you will need an azure account if you do not have one please click the link below and create your own free azure account amazing Microsoft is giving us up to 200 Azure credit to explore free services into the Azure. After that, navigate into the Azure portal dashboard. Click create resource and I'm going to be taking us slow to make sure everyone understand. Type IoT Hub. Click enter. And then click IoT Hub. For this account, just click create. Now, for this account, I'm using an Azure for student account and you can use any, your own free subscription. After that, we have the resource group. Resource group is mainly, if someone might ask, what is a resource group? A resource group is more of a container where you store all your, your, your projects or rather related files to your main projects or maybe in layman's language i can say it's a main folder where you have all your related project files so for this one i don't have any resource group let's create one click create and we can call it my resource my resource if you see if you see sorry let's create one call it my resource so if you see a green arrow here, it means it's correct and then click OK. So I have one here. So my resource, IoT app name, I will call it IoT app. Let me call it IoT app ESP321. So for the region, let it maintain as East US. Then click Next. To that in the networking, just click Next. So here we have some tiers and this is an entire class to explain what the difference between these ones, but you can just use free tier. Free tier means we have some device to cloud telemetry sending of the data and it means you can send up to 8,000 messages into your into the cloud from your device. So um. If you want to understand, to understand more, you can always navigate into this small icon here and you can see what everything means here. So you can just, after this, um, we just not changing anything here. For the tax, just click next. So tax, we don't have any tax here. Just click next. And after this, it will take some few seconds to deploy your account sorry to deploy your iot hub into the resource group so just click create so this is the summary of everything so it's in the free tier that's f1 which can send up to 8000 messages a day blah 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 and everything else so just click create so it's initializing the deployment So deployment is still in progress. So you can skip this part into after deployment to just make sure you don't waste your time. But if you're still using this tutorial to you know create one, it means you have to wait for the deployment to take place. So yeah, but patience is in tech again. So our deployment is complete. Just go to resource. so um so this is our iot hub application and this is a summary of everything else and but we want to create our device inside the iot hub so we click 
devices. After clicking devices, just wait for some little time. Now we want to add a device. Why do we want to add a device? This is more of where we will be getting our IDs for authentication. That is the IDs which we shall be configuring into our code so that we can have our ESP32 register into the Azure portal or rather into the IoT hub which you have already created. So click and device. So we can call it name. Let's call it ESP that two. So we call it IoT ESP that two device one and save. So it's it's done creating last update date. Just refresh it here. Then you can click the device ID. So these are the we will be using the device ID primary key. We shall be using and the connection string for the authentication of our IoT device so that it can send data on cloud. Stay tuned.